Greetings. I am Cross Knights, and this is Tunic. Oh, <laughs> didn't even know that was there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it, even though I'm worried about the 100% thing. I'm going to do it. I'm committed. It's interesting, though, because I haven't played this game in over a month since I made that first video. And when I made that first video, I had just beaten the game. Everything was so fresh in my mind. And now I'm realizing I've, I've forgotten so much. So, it's not blind. Not by any means. Wow, I'm just finding all types of things by just wandering around. More money. Um, but, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not going to be the same as if I had done it right after I had just played. So, to review... I woke up, and they imply that I need to save a princess from a ethereal prison of some sort. I visited the hero's grave and found a sword. That sword allows me to chop down these little bushes, and because of that, there are places accessible to me that were not before. Also, the biggest secret of the game, the instruction manual for the game, is within the game. And a large part of the game is finding that manual. So I just found the overworld and this, under the well. And there, there's a little, uh, yeah, there's enemy, there's enemy specs. We got little slimes, type of slime who just wants to be close to you, stunned by blocking, and the auto bolt turret. Those guys suck. I hate the auto bolt turrets. Uh, and it looks like you can block with your shield, which I don't have. Just to review the other pages, I know you can see the page numbers. The first page that I got was page 10. And they're just like, bleh, bleh, bleh. page 28. Do I have 28? I have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 28. <laughs> so I guess that was a map. And most of the, the words in this are in a made-up language. Note, that language is decipherable. No, you don't need to decipher it to beat the game. And I think 99.999% of people will not decipher it. Because it's not just a straight, like, one character equals A, two characters equals... I, like, I see how... I know how it works because I looked up videos, but it's a lot. They, they created a new type of language that is analogous to English. Um, that was actually one of the conversations. Because in a lot of games, um, you know, they have multiple languages. You know, it's not even that hard if there's not a lot of dialogue. And there's not a lot of dialogue in this game. But they couldn't just make the language in Spanish, for example. It wouldn't work. It only works in English. As a, as a, the, the cipher can go back to English, but it, it relies on English understanding in order to decipher it. So that's an interesting uh, issue. But you know, I, I don't think anything would be lost if they did translate just the parts that are translatable. Because again, over 99% of people are never going to try to translate the damn thing. I do wish that once you beat the game, though, it would, like, translate everything. Because I'd love to know what certain things say. But, alas. I watched a video that translated the entire instruction manual, and I found out some cool stuff. By the way, this is where the princess is. Sealed forever. We'll see about that. My current job appears to be to ring the bells. Let's see, ringing the West Bell. West Bell Tomb. To West Garden. Okay, so it looks like to... I mean, you gotta look at the map to get clues and whatnot. Uh, it looks like to ring the other bell, I need to get to the West Garden. So I'm starting there. I just saw the door. There's an old house. Is it? That's not showing me on the map, is it? That's not how that works, is it? Let me move for a second. Oh my god! I, I had no idea that this map actually worked as a map. You, do you see me above the old house? I didn't know that... I, like, I thought this was an instruction book. I didn't think I moved. That's crazy. Well, that would have been helpful <laughs> if I had realized that. Well, now I can go down here. Well, at first, let's go into this... Uh, w windmill. Windmill? Windmill house. <laughs> it's like, what's it called? It's not a lighthouse. There's no lights. Whoa there, buddy! You don't want to fight? Good, because I'd whip your face in. 300, I can get a new potion. Yes, please. That is permanent. I can now heal myself three times. And we got this. Can't afford it. 
All right, la later. Shopkeep of doom. What's his deal? I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta buy things from a Shinigami. <laughs> what, you, what can I tell you? Okay. Look, there it is. The West Bell. I must ring it. Let's get down this ladder. There's a bunch of guards here. Now, I found the sword. Um... Now, besides just cutting, uh, cutting things, the sword also does more damage, so... Uh, the stick, it took three hits to kill those little guys. Now I can do it in two. And we got another page. Finding a page was always exciting. Alright, so... Um... Yeah, th this is explaining, uh, if you run out of stamina, your dodge roll won't work as much. It's also explaining that if you block with your shield, which again, I don't have, it'll also take stamina. So evade, moment of safety, damage to... Yeah, you take 150% damage if you... Um, if you're out of stamina. You also can't block, so... And your dodge sucks more. And now we got this, treasures and tools. The sword, stick, shield, bomb, 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 keys, fruits, hot pepper and ivy, effigy... Lore, and a golden coin. I don't remember what the effigy does. I don't know if I ever really used them. Okay, there's another item. If you look to the right of this page, towards the bottom, but not on the actual bottom, it's like it looks like a piece of paper with some pink stuff in it. I found one of those. And I'll just say it. It's suggesting it here, but you might not have interpreted it. Uh, that can increase my maximum healing amount. However... You gotta do something to enact it. I know what that thing is. I'm going to wait until they tell me what that thing is before I do it, though. Because that that's that's another weird thing. Like, if you know things about this game, it really changes it. A lot of the secrets of the game is finding out how to play it. Because these aren't abilities that you unlock most of the time. Most of the time you've always had them. You just wouldn't know how to do them. Um, like running. You might figure out how to run by yourself. Uh, now, did they actually tell me how to run? They must have, right? They did. So I knew how to run when I first started, but I wanted to wait until they told you. So yeah, dive roll, and then keep on holding the button, and that's how you run. Like, you might find that out by accident, but if you don't, it will eventually tell you. So, you know, I was walking around like this when I first started playing, wishing that there was a run button. Now, those guys can be rough. Uh, oh! Uh, because they have a shield. <laughs> they can block a lot of your stuff. Ding. And you can get the drop on people. Woo! Yeah, he's vulnerable after the slash. Now, I do know how to open that door, but I'm not going to because I'm not supposed to know yet. <laughs> so you see how I'm going to play the game. Now, that guy down there is really hard. The green one. Not you. I'm gonna kick you in the face. You suck. <laughs> but that green guy could absolutely kill me. I think we're gonna look around a little bit more be oh crap. Before we get to him. Maybe I'm good enough to beat him now, I don't know. Slice. Well, that's ominous. <laughs> oh, it's a statue head, okay, it's not real. Yes, it's that statue head, in fact. Uh Are you kidding? I feel like I beat the game without opening this door, and that's really dumb. Uh, oh god. I was wondering why that- I was like, what do you mean, LT? I didn't realize there's a guy- that- that's incredible. <laughs> but I just never stand in front of that? Okay, that is a third of a potion bottle. If I find the other three, I will gain another potion heal. Very useful. And how many times is I going the long way around here? Yeah, I'm back at the beginning, right? Holy crap. Alright, well, I'm not going to rejuvenate because I haven't needed to heal. But there's a shortcut that <laughs> it's supposed to be... <laughs> wow. Whee! How much, um... What button is it? There we go. I have, um... Oh god, I did not I mean to equip... Oh my god. Um, go back. There we go. <laughs> I didn't mean to equip the stick, but whatever. I don't need to use the stick. 
can if I want to for some reason, though there's no point. But yeah, I just want to see how much money I have. So, I can't get that. I have no way to get Let's just try to beat him. Oh my god, a key. I need that. What are you going to do? I don't even remember. Ow! Okay. I knew he was tough. That's going to take all of my potions to heal from that. Uh... Huh. Huh. Alright. Oh, he takes so little damage, too. You think I could just, like, take the key? That was a badly timed roll. Okay, now I think I'm gonna go and save. <laughs> now, when you die, you only lose, I think it's 20 gold. You never lose more than that. I'm actually kind of surprised they did it that way. I guess they didn't want it to be too punishing. But it's not like you lose all of your golds. So, it, it doesn't matter that... I mean, the main thing that's bad is that you have to walk back to wherever you were, and everyone's back to life that you killed, so... But, like, I assume I need that key, right? Alright, well, I got hit a few times already. I don't know if I can, like, fight him without the other guys sneaking past. Or sneaking up on me. Whoa! I just need that key, though. <laughs> I just... Yeah, no, they're, they're all here now. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was like, I don't think I could dodge that. All right, stamina's out. Oh my god. Uh, that enemy down there is very tough. <laughs> Especially without a shield. Yeah, I'm just getting my face knocked in by normal boys now. Woo! One. One. Why is he only using... Does he only use a second attack if he hits me? That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm definitely not fighting that guy now. I'm, like, dead. Let's see if we can sneak up on this jerk. Do some early sneak attack damage. Certainly could. <laughs> gotcha. And we've got an effigy. What do they do, though? I don't remember. Let's see if I can figure it out. Did I ever even use one of these? I don't know. I, I think, I mean, I just took so much, I took so much damage. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna reset everyone again and try to take less damage this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not helping. You're not helping at all. <laughs> I took significantly less damage that time. I think there's still one guy down here, right? No, maybe not. All right, let's see. Take this. Oh, I remember what they do now. <laughs> they just give you money. <laughs> so that wasn't exactly going to help me. Can I, can I, can I not just bait this out? And then... Alright, screw you! Screw you! <laughs> Goodbye, sir! I got the key to the old house. Ah! <laughs> I really don't want to deal with that thing without my shield. So we're just going to leave... Smell you later, as they say. Wee! Wah! Don't really want to deal with you either. Who's gonna go in here? Now, is this the old house? I'm not sure. Okay. Ah, that that's similar. That's similar to the thing that increases your potions. Cool. 40 money. And a dynamite. We're gonna equip that. Very useful. I'm gonna equip it on there. <laughs> I keep on hitting B to cancel the menu, but you have to hit, hit the same button uh, that gets you in the menu to get you out of the menu. It's just not intuitive. Especially if you've been playing uh, Breath of the Wild or something. Which, I had to say, I was playing Tears of the Kingdom until I got this game, and I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom since then. Uh, it just kind of broke, it broke the spell. 
So I didn't even, I think I only got like a fourth of the way through Tears of the Kingdom before I stopped. Hopefully I'll get back to it, you never know though. So many games. So little time. That's a turret, if I remember. Yeah, oh my god, I can shoot you from really far away. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful with all that. Is that another turret? Okay, fortunately, because of how it's uh, angled, it can't get me, but I think we gotta bottoms up. I shouldn't be that afraid of dying, though. The, again, the consequence isn't huge. <sighs> Let me try to defeat this. Oh my god. Just because, like, do I have to go this way? I don't know if I do. I couldn't remember if this was a dead end or not. It's a dead end. But there was something here. Ah! So that, and they haven't told me this, but I figured it out, is my first relic. Now, what does it do? I don't remember. They haven't told me yet. <laughs> so it's kind of like the relics in Hollow Knight, except you're not going to know what they do. You just have to guess based on the symbol and by watching whatever effects may or may not happen. Quake. Bye, sir. You think you're a good guard, but the fact that you won't leave your station actually makes you a bad guard. Good day. I guess I was guarding the key and nothing else. Yeah, like that, that right there is like what you lose when you die. And if you go back to the spot where you died, you get it back anyway, so. Most of the time, there's the only consequence to dying is needing to go back. All right, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Looking good. Looking promising. That's an auto turret. I think it'll kill me if I go over there, and it's just a treasure chest, so we're gonna leave it. Hopefully I can come back for it, though I really want it. What are the odds? The odds are bad. Alright, what if I blow this thing up, though? <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I like the dynamite. <laughs> Uh-oh, is that gonna activate? Right. It did not. So that's a decoy. I believe if you put it down, it runs around and enemies will actually go and attack it instead. Including some bosses, so... Remember that. Auto turret down there. It's weird the music just cut off weirdly. Alright, don't know what that's all about. Maybe it doesn't concern me, though. <laughs> Maybe I should mind my own damn business. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm under the windmill thing. Uh, uh, boom. I tried to explain this in the first episode, but it's hard to explain. I mentioned that there are some secret passages that you can just find, but you're not really supposed to find them. Uh, they will be extremely obvious where they are once you already get to the other side. So, if you're playing the game again, shortcut, you'll know about it. But the first time, I don't think you are, for the most part, meant to know about it. But at any time to get down to where I was before, I could have just walked behind here and gone down. But now that I know, I can do that. That is one of the few passages I remembered because I used it frequently. But again, I'm trying not to use my foreknowledge. I'm trying to act like I'm a new player. But I'm being honest about that. <laughs> I'm not trying to deceive anyone either. And considering it's been about a month, um, not all of the things, are, I'm not gonna remember most of the things anyway. <laughs> a lot of them are honestly hidden for me now. But that's my destination right there. So we're, we're getting there. <laughs> but this was just a shortcut to get to this area. So when I die, I can come here. I don't have to go through that gauntlet of uh, auto blasters. No, there is an auto blaster right there. What's behind it, though? Go, go back. I'm going to blow you up with my newly bought dynamite. Thank you. Bam! Didn't even get a shot off. Okay. <laughs> Just a treasure chest. And nothing great in it. 
You gotta be thorough, damn it. So I'm all the way at the bottom uh, left there, and I need to go up. I'm just not... Oh, that's interesting. What is that arrow? Uh, to future cross knights, the arrow pointing to those three trees. I want to, like, zoom in on that. Uh, that I don't know if I noticed that there was an arrow there, so that, uh, that bears checking out, right? <laughs> interesting. Uh, no, I keep on running away. Uh, the explosion will hurt you. Do not be next to it when it explodes. Uh, so I'll just explain what the relic does, because you can get it from context clues. It makes it, I, I think it's like 15% chance that a little heart will appear, and that heart will heal you slightly. That does not happen naturally. You do need the relic. So I feel like I've gone as far as I can this way, right? That, that seemed like a series of dead ends. So we're going to actually scooch on back. Ignore the gun. <laughs> yeah, go past that weird guard. What if I blow him up? Ooh, what is... Ooh. I'm behind the waterfall. Is there really nothing here behind the waterfall? That seems suspicious that there wouldn't be anything here, right? Come on, you, you guys have secrets or something, right? Mm. Maybe there's already a, a chest that I already got, I don't know. Alright, lock on, have this. Quay, have another. Defeated! <laughs> now you will get that much gold anytime you defeat that thing. He does come back, he is just a normal enemy. He's just a particularly strong one. Ow. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Not gonna rely on a random health thing dropping. So if I go... Let, let's check out that arrow. I'm very suspicious. I think the arrow is just to the house. Yeah, okay. Nothing too incredible then. What's that question mark there, though? It's this. Okay. Have I explored all around here? I might not have because there's a million guys. Though, didn't I kill them before? Ah, here we go. Slam. Ow! <laughs> you guys are cheating. I was in a cutscene. <laughs> here, have this. You want to cheat? I can cheat too. <laughs> I will bring large arms. There. That's right. We don't screw around here. Healed. <laughs> Alright, good. We're getting somewhere now. The key to the old house. Well, that was disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Disappointed. <laughs> But what is this? A fallen shield. So this is permanently part of my kit now. I don't need to equip it. I will always have it. Uh, there's a parry system that I, I parried things literally no times. I didn't even know that there was a parry for a very long time. Uh, actually, I did because I, I accidentally dug that a few times. So I was like, there must be a parry system. I just never got the timing. I looked up a whole video on it, and the timing is so precise. But if you can do it, it can open up some interesting opportunities. But I beat the entire game without parrying once. It is not a necessary skill. It is a skill that I hope to play around with in this Let's Play, though. Uh, you are kidding me. Once again, there was nothing ever stopping me from doing that. That was always a shortcut. Meaning, if you're in the know, you don't need to get that key. If you're speedrunning this game, you can just go there. It's cool. I like the design. It's like everything you need to know exists. And you like you don't you don't really gain skills in this game. You gain knowledge. Sometimes physically through those pages. Sometimes through stuff like that, and it's up to you to remember it. Very cool. Hut. 
Ah. Just like that paper with the pink stuff. This is one of those items. Oh my gourd. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't trying to parry. But let me just show a hit. Okay, you're gonna have to actually hit me so I can display blocking things. You nerd. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I like those guys really suck to fight, but you can just you can just crush them if they don't see you. Those guys aren't nearly as bad because they don't have a shield. Danger. Doesn't look like I can go there anyway. A pepper. I don't quite know what those do. I think they temporarily increase your attack power, but I, like, never used one. Uh, not really, anyway. Alright, you're gone. Let me just check up here. I think the other way is the way I'm supposed to go, but let me just check up here. Alright, just a treasure chest. Nice, nice. Yeah, any, anything that's on that row over there, it's about stats. But I'm not going to utilize them until the I find the appropriate page that tells me how to. Even if that's really far in the game. What was that? Why is, is that... What is that symbol of the old house? Huh. It looks like these are, um... Like, because again, this is like an instruction manual that someone owned, right? It, it's looking like someone, like, put a pen mark on there, right? Yeah. That looks like it's part of the game. But then this is someone actually drew on it. Interesting. It's not just a uh, instruction manual. It's a used instruction manual. <laughs> someone has had it before me. Flip, flip. A flip. Alright, so this way... Surprise! Ow. <laughs> Not my best play. Oh, crap. Nah. Alright, I blocked some of it. <laughs> um... Hmm. What do I got? Chili, that's not gonna help. Let's just run for it. Did not wanna- oh crap, he's gonna kill me. I'm stuck! I'm stuck! <laughs> God. Yeah, I figured that that was a bad situation. I, I don't know why it decided to lock into the wrong guy, but yeah. I The better thing would have been just to run in and get the controller. Oh no, I'm dead. Well, game over. I have come back to life. So yeah, that that only happens the first time. You don't have to worry about that happening every single time or anything. Alright, I am here. Oh god. Now, you probably couldn't have seen it. Uh, not facing the right direction. Alright, let's heal up so I don't die again. But there's a little ghost where I died. So we're gonna... I'm just gonna try to run past this area. It's very deadly. There. So he just got hit because I, I collected my ghost and it does damage to people in the surrounding area. Alright. Drink. Alright, just go crazy. Oh, it's gonna get me again. Oh, I'm out of potions! No! Yeah, I hate this area. I just needed to hit that bridge. If I had hit that bridge, I could have gotten back here and it would have been fine. But uh, I never figured out how to deal with this thing very effectively, to be honest. Uh, the, the bolts always got me. So, like, even later in the game, if I had some dynamite, I'd usually just throw the damn dynamite at it. 
Alright, I ran past everything. Everything's still alive. We're just gonna... Just gonna grab this. Oh god, they're all behind me. Drink, drink, drink. Roll. Out of stamina. Yeah, that might not have been the best way to deal with it, but I got impatient. I just needed to get to the bridge. But I didn't kill anyone when I was being pursued. Alright, I killed them all. Didn't take that much more effort. I can't get that, and I'm not going to be able to get that for a long time, so we're going to ignore that. Um, what I want to do is lure this guy. And then fight him when there's not an auto bolt turret after me. <laughs> no, 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 no. You come back. You come back. You come back. You can still get me. Alright, <laughs> come here. Come here. Where's your warrior spirit? Idiot. You shouldn't have had a warrior spirit. Alright. So now I only have the auto bolt turret. Ha 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 Oh crap. Maybe I can't. I did it. Now it doesn't matter if you kill me. Ha 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 ha. Ow. I'd rather you didn't though. I'd rather you didn't. It's a thing. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, they've told me. I can do it now. This is where you find this out. Um, so you notice I, I found some of these objects. There's a thing that says potion. It alluded to that before. One of them's blocked out. There's like a fang. There's a flower. They are related to other stats. So, for example, if I have a stat of one attack, it's 100 damage. If I level it up, it'll be um, 150 and then 200. Uh, it scales differently, but... I mean, I, it says level three for potion is... 1,000, which would be 10 times, which seems crazy, but, you know. Um, now, how do you do it? I, I didn't realize for the longest time that it was telling me. I can zoom in, right? Yeah. But it has to do with the save points. You see that? Offering. Offering for money. Uh, the fact that I missed that. I played through well over half of the game with level 1 stats. It really did seem like Dark Souls at certain points. I didn't realize that it wasn't supposed to. I thought they purposely were like... I was like, wow, this game hasn't been too crazy, but these boss battles are completely insane. Uh, and that that was the reason. I, I was supposed to get a boost. I was supposed to get help, and I didn't get it. But now we can go all the way back to the beginning. And the way you do it is you stand by the altar... You go to the menu, and it if I had ever opened the menu, it would have taken me to it automatically. Like, I didn't go over to this. It started me at this. Um, it, like, if you go to this place uh, not here, it doesn't do that. It starts you over here. And if you go over here, and you hit them, it's just like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. But um, money is basically your experience, and it's because of this. So we're going to get level 2 attack. And it will show you the attribute. Like, it's a question mark until you do that once. Alright. Level 2 potions. So now I'll heal more per potion. Beautiful. No abbreviation. It could have said pot. <laughs> and what is this? Even I don't remember. I have enough for one, though. I'm not going to have enough to do this twice. I actually have two of them. I'm guessing it's either HP or defense. Hit points. Kaboom. And that's that. I am now more powerful. So I'll need 100 or 250 to level it up again. 300 for this. Uh, 150 for this. But I need to find the actual items. They're not... I don't have them right now. So cool. Now, despite the fact that I, I have made progress... I have leveled up. I feel like, from a video standpoint, what have I done, really? Not as much as I'd like to. So we're going to at least go beneath the well. Now, there's an entire entry about this place, if I remember right. Yep, right here. Here's the entire map. So, in fact, it, I can't believe the map's update. I never noticed. Um, so there's a save point in the next room. This doesn't seem like a big area. But, you know. 
I don't need to record for an hour every episode. I have to remind myself of this. All right, now they described how to defeat, defeat this guy in the manual. So if you read, stunned by blocking. What they didn't say is that he freaking explodes afterwards, so don't stand next to him afterwards. Block. Don't stand next to him. See, he doesn't listen. <laughs> And I do really appreciate some of the battles in this. There, there are some battles where, yeah, all battles you can kind of brute force. Run and swing your sword a whole bunch of times. Some of them kind of have solutions uh, where you can beat them even easier. Be and it's, it is stuff like that. Uh, make the first guy blow up. Trick the soldier into running into him. You've also defeated the soldier. It's cool. They, they did put thought into it. Now... Yeah, I don't have enough, but... New save point. Let's look around... A little bit, but then the episode's over. Just checking that wall for secret passages or something. Secret chests, nothing. Ooh! Always love finding these. Alright, so. I mean, there's a lot going on here, right? <laughs> Uh, the things on the edges are numbered. One, two, three, four. It says gate. There's something in the center. There's a save point. There's a question mark there. Then envoy. More questions than answers. Those are That's the big guy that I just blew up instead of defeating legitimately. We got the Crabbo Crabbit. Crab has a hard shell, but Crabbit has pals. And then Husher, a friendly bird that loves to eat slurms. That bird is not friendly, and he's a murder face, and I hate him. Let's see, the only lie this book has told me so far. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think you'd be able to creep around like that. Shaboom. Uh, is that a little staircase down? Nope, I don't know how to get that treasure chest. So for now, we shall pay it no mind. Uh, got the drop on that other one. <laughs> also, you notice my health is higher than my stamina. That is how much it increased by. All right, I'm assuming, yeah. A lot of times, you, you really... If you're able to get to the auto baller, you can just smash them to death, especially with my increased attack power, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> if you're not able to get to them... Because you can block them with a shield, but it has to be at the right angle, and it takes away your stamina, and eventually you won't be able to block anymore, so I just don't know, man. Um, I think we're good. I think I can stop here. Yeah. Uh, we will continue on our path under the well. Let me just check real quick. Just like there are instructions for the west bell, or the east bell, so, instructions for ringing the west bell. Old house, flooded well. I think that's where I am now. So it'll lead to the dark tomb, the west garden, and then question marks. And then, when both of the bells are rung, in a far-off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. So that's that. Um... This is part two of Tunic. I'm excited to be playing this. Um, if you... I mean, do tell me. If, if, you, if you bought the game after seeing my first video, please tell me. Um, because I, that would make me very happy. If even one person bought it because of me, that'd make me very happy. Because I, I loved this game. I really did. And I'm glad I get to show you guys the rest of it. I think I've waited enough time so that the people that were going to get it could get it. Okay. And, but, like, if you're going to play it, and this is obviously counterintuitive... Stop watching my video. It will ruin the game. Like, just those secret passages. No, it, it will ruin the game. This game can be spoiled so easily in a giant facet of different ways. So, if you're gonna play it, stop watching it. Thank you thank you for watching this far, but, like, really, you're gonna ruin it for yourself. <laughs> if you think you're ever gonna play this one day. Um, but yeah, for those that are staying who have played it or just aren't gonna play it and want to watch this, thank you. <laughs> thank you, as always, to my patrons and... I'll see you guys next time. Also, thank you to the people who are going to leave, too. You're even... Yeah. Th thanks to everyone. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> Later.